I want to get into explaining why I decided to get back into coaching artists on their music marketing, and it's not going to be what you think. Um, before I do that, though, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Lizzie the Gifted. I've been doing music myself for about 11 years, it's totally self producing artist. And uh, I like to say that my music is entrepreneurial hip hop, but I also do my own digital marketing, run paid ads, content creation, podcast creation, email marketing, funnel building, digital marketing strategy, all that types of stuff, right? So what I want to basically do for you is share with you why I'm getting back into coaching artists with their music marketing and how I'm going to be able to help. Um, if you get any value out of this video or from hearing what I have to talk about, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I put out videos every single week and basically just trying to help you out with stuff. So, let's get into why I got back into music marketing coaching. So, basically I've been doing music for like 11 years, right? And just so you know, I have not even closely reached the level of success that I want to be at. Like not even close. Like I plan on being a platinum artist. I plan on, you know, having a million monthly listeners and a million followers and a huge email list like I and touring the world. So, the standards I set for myself are very very like high. But I have been doing music for 11 years and I've reached a certain level of success. I really understand marketing really well. At this point with the stuff that I'm currently doing, which is running paid ads, posting content consistently and helping artists like yourself, I'm pretty much at, an, at a point where it's literally just a matter of time at this point. There's kind of nothing getting in my way of being at those places. So here's why I got back into music marketing coaching and why I want to actually help you like on a one-on-one -on -one close basis. It's because I know that when I got started with music, which was really back in 2011, that I didn't really have any mentors, didn't really have anybody that I you know could help that could help me. Um, times were really different back then too, because when I started doing music, CDs were still a thing, Dat Piff was still a thing. Uh, Instagram had just been invented. There wasn't really paid ads, and I don't think Spotify or Apple Music had even come to fruition at all. So that's kind of to give you a sense of when I got started, how different it was. Like it made sense to sell CDs, which is what I did. So anyway, I'm not going to go through my whole life story, but the reason I'm getting into helping you is because I want to be able to give you some guidance. There's two reasons. One, I might know more than you. It's true. Um, or I might know different things than you, right? Like sometimes when you have a mentor, it's not always about having a mentor who's at the level that platinum or at the level of like multimillionaire because to get to those people it's going to be really hard. It might just be needing somebody who's got vastly different experience than you and it could be also just the fact that you know there's going to be things that I've done that you haven't done and there's going to be a lot of different types of strategies that I could imp implement into your career that you would have never thought of. So there's the idea of me having different experience and there's also the idea of having that outside perspective. Even for me, I've had people give me ideas that it's not that I couldn't have come up with them because of the like the level of the idea. Like I've had people give me ideas that weren't such a high level idea that I couldn't have seen, but just because they weren't me, they have that outside perspective and they are able to look at it and be like, oh well, since I'm not, you know when you're like really tunnel visioned in on your own thing, you can't see anything around you? That's another huge value of hiring a coach and having somebody who actually knows music and music marketing and music production too. So that's a big thing is that you, a lot of the time when you look to hire a coach, and by the way, I never want to discourage you from hiring any other coach. I think that having any type of coach is going to be able to help you. And you know the reason that I want to be able to help you is because I'm passionate about helping. I'm passionate about marketing. Like I'm actually legitimately a nerd for marketing. Like I think marketing is cool. Not everybody's like that. You know, if you're in a place where you're like, "Man, I love making music. I know I need to do marketing, but marketing just kind of isn't my strong suit." Great. Like I freaking love marketing. Like I'm actually there's literally this whiteboard right here is like a big marketing strategy. Like I love marketing. I love writing strategies. I love talking to people about it. I actually enjoy paid ads. I love cracking the code on paid ads. I kind of think of paid ads as somewhat of a Rubik's cube and I love kind of cracking that Rubik's cube code uh, to have it all click together. So I'm into it. I'm actually passionate about it. And the other thing is I've run paid ads for four years and I know it. I've run paid ads in the music industry. I've run paid ads for outside of the music industry. I actually started doing freelance 
paid ads and social media management, which turned into me owning my own agency called Prophecy Media, which then turned into me being a high ticket closer for another agency in real estate. So I've been in the social media marketing agency space for a long time and I know marketing ads, funnels, how to build a business. And I wanna be able to take those principles that I learned from these multimillionaire agency owners that I got to meet and implement them into your music. I was able to meet up with people who own agencies that are doing 100,000 a month, 120,000 a month, 250,000 a month. Uh, So I'm able to meet up, I was able to meet and talk with a lot of agency owners at that level. And I'm able to implement that same strategy and those same marketing into what you're doing as an artist, into what I'm doing as an artist too. The same mindset, the same business planning as well. I myself have a coach as well. And so, I'm, you know, she does, her business does 250,000 a month, uh, a year in revenue. She's working as a solopreneur. So I, I'm able to get coaching all over the place as well. And so I, I know the value of coaching and I know the value of having that one-on-one, that person that's really there for you. That's also not just, like there for you, but is in the trenches. Because there's some music marketing coaches out there and this is no knock to them, but they themselves are not artists. That's fine, nothing wrong with that. That's good too, you should still hire them because they know marketing, but I'm actually an artist, so I know exactly what you're going through. I know what it's like to be in the studio, and plus, I go from scratch to finish when it comes to the actual production of the music. Like I fully produce all my own music from scratch, write the lyrics, record the vocals, mix, master, and market everything. Like, I do it all. So, I know what you're going through in terms of, like, in terms of relatability, I'm probably the most relatable of all the music marketing coaches out there. So, yes, this is kind of a little bit of a salesy video. Guess what? Don't give a shit because if you if you don't want to sell yourself, you don't want to make money. And, like, I'm in this to help you and give value and I'm also in this to build myself a business. So, whatever. I don't mind selling myself. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because... Look, you can you don't have to hire me. I don't if you don't hire me, great. I don't I don't care. But I just want to put this out there and really explain to you why I feel like I'd be a great coach for you and why I would actually like to be able to coach you and at least have the opportunity. Um at the very least, like let's get on the phone and talk. It's really not a sales call. It's really for me to just introduce myself to you and be like, "Hey, let me hear about where you're at. If we're a good fit, and I can help you with your challenges. I'll walk you through what I've got going on. If we don't feel like we're a good fit, it's all good. I can we can move on and still be homies and be friends. It's it's not that big a deal. So, anyways, if that's something you're interested in, so and, and by the way, before I even get into that, let me also explain to you what I'm able to help you with. What I've seen out there is I've seen a lot of artists and they're mentally going th- I call it the hamster wheel, the mental hamster wheel of where you're constantly spinning, being like who is my audience? What's my brand? How do I get followers? How do I grow on Spotify? How do I grow an email list? How do I generate revenue as an artist? How do I actually get some things going? Because I don't know what to do. I have too much going on. I work full time. I make all the music. I con- I do all the content creation. I feel like I'm spit running on this hamster wheel and I'm not getting results. What do I need to do? I can help you take you from where you are at that point to the goals that you want to achieve for sure. So, I can definitely help with anything like that. Growing your followers on Instagram, growing on Spotify, growing your email list, all those types of things that you need help with, I can help you there. And I can make it easier for you. That's the big thing is you could probably find all the information you need on YouTube, but it's going to take you a long time, many hours. Most of the videos you see on YouTube, by the way, they're not guaranteed to help you. A lot of us who are posting YouTube videos, we're not able to talk to you one-on-one, so we're only able to post very general videos, which means that you're watching videos that are good, they're gonna help you, but they're not always going to be super specific to your case. That's why having a coach one-on-one is good, because I can actually get on the phone with you and be like, what are you going through, Johnny? What is it that you're challenged with? Hear your challenge, like, okay, and what are your goals? Hear that. Okay, great. What stopped you in the past? Hear that? Great. I can actually help get you specifically to where you want to go. That's why hiring somebody is super important. So here's what I can do. I can help you. It would just, all you have to do is click below and book a call with me. Like I said, at the end of it, if we feel like we're a good fit, I'll walk you through what I've got going on and see if it makes sense for us to work together. If it doesn't make sense, bet. I don't mind. That's, that's chill too. It doesn't matter. So 
Book that call with me. If you get any value out of these videos or if you feel like this could be something that could work out, at least like this video and subscribe, right? That way I can, when I post these videos, the algorithm gets triggered and I can get more views and we can really help grow the artist community a little better. So basically what this brand is, it's Music Marketing Mastery. I want to try to grow that and really help a lot of artists out in the world grow and master their music marketing. All right, so look forward to talking to you on the phone. Like I said, click below, book that call with me. I look forward to us chatting, getting started, working together. All right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.